what is going on guys we are here today for part 10 of it's a f up love story <laughs> I got the bestie here today, of course, and I'm gonna go ahead and let her introduce herself. I know, that's a bad idea. <laughs> that's a horrible idea <laughs> to let me do that. <laughs> this is Grace B. With two E's. There we go. With that being said, you know, give me a second. We're gonna go ahead and get right into this video. And you gotta be honest. Like, I feel like I'm always honest, people, me too. Okay. Ready? Of course. Uh, this part seems to be not enough, but I'm not recording it. I'm getting mad. But we just wrote this. So if you mess up again, you know, it's a big I'm over it. You know, Is out of control so she basically saying she got hiv she giving up the baby for adoption and the dude when he was in the waiting room he was just like hey, i got something to tell you and he was waiting but come to find out bro gay he been elfing her husband so he got the hiv from the friend from the best friend that's why i say i ain't gonna say for all men but most of these dudes be on the dm with their homies they call this thing like a uh, best friend oh, it's smash. Called a bromance. It's called a bromance. And bromance. they be doing some stuff on the low low. I ain't surprised by that. Like not one bit. But for her to say like she's going to give up the baby for adoption. You know what I'm saying? Because of the HIV situation. I don't agree with you. What you think? No, but uh, it's hard to say though. Because like people just... Like, they have too much more love for, like, it's just selfishness almost. Like, some people feel like, well, uh, I don't want to deal with a child that has those problems, those complications. That's, like, just, that's just like with a child with disabilities. Yeah. Pretty much. People just go, might, some people might keep it, some people might give it up, just depending on, like, how they feel about the situation. I mean, but, yeah, I agree with that, but I just feel like if you put yourself in that predicament, then... You got HIV too, so I mean, like, 
Y'all might well just be a big HIV family. <laughs> you petty. I was just saying, I don't feel like that's right. You get what I'm saying? Like, you didn't carry the baby. You're going to carry the baby full time, and then you just going to give it up for adoption because of that. Who is to say you won't love that child? You get what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like that's wrong. It's your fault they got it, my guy. Let's not forget that. Yeah. It's she your fault. Exactly. And then another thing, it's just like, for bro, I'm still stuck on the whole situation with bro talking about he got HIV. Like, and he gave it to him. Like, then right, nigga want the proof. Nigga, you in the hospital. <laughs> Do you want? Yeah, you oh yeah, they did say that talking about some give up the documents basically like I need proof. I don't know what nigga wanna. First of all, y'all already know what it is. If a doctor bring in some paperwork and they like boom pow, you HIV positive and then put them to be like, oh I ain't got it, you don't know for sure until you get tested. And I don't know no hospital. I don't quote me, but I don't know no hospital just immediately be like I'm testing everybody in the room. They not. You really gotta like do that shit on your own time. They not. Unless you just be like having a fucking seizure in there and be like, oh no. <laughs> They'll be like, ma'am, ma'am. It's time to put it in yeah. <laughs> But I don't know, like from the other videos that I watched, like one through nine, I kind of I kinda figured like something twisted was gonna happen because you know what? I still feel like there's some stuff that ain't been talked about. Like, I keep bringing up, like, when a girl, uh, Risa, talking about some with her dude was cheating, and then somebody shot up the car. I'm still confused on that. Like, did the boyfriend get killed? Is he still alive? Where he at? Is her cousin dead? Because she was, cause he was cheating on her with her cousin. Is the cousin dead? Could the could he be the father of the baby? Cause it don't make sense. Like it's a lot of things that just don't make sense to me. Still, they still just not being answered, and I just feel like they kind of going past it. Like I just really need like to understand what else is going on. Cause you just can't leave us like okay, what's going on? You didn't answer everything else, but you still missing that one little piece. But I think if Bestie over here actually heard one through nine, she would know and understand. She probably had more to say. But she, this is her first time only hearing 10, and I'm going to let her hear 1 through 9, because I'm pretty sure 11 going to come out, and then she'll have more to say. But this is the first one she heard, which is 10. I mean, it was kind of fast and quick. It really wasn't as detailed. It was pretty much the same old stuff we already know. They arguing back and forth, and then for her to say, like, we flocking together, like, no, bro. Like, like she said, I don't care about you or him. And I would feel the same way. Both of y'all did me dirty, so why would I care? Oh, I care about me. What going on with me? And for her to be like, oh, we in this together. No, boo-boo. <laughs> you acting like we just planned this. Like, oh, you can screw him and I can screw him. And she the whole wife. And you supposed to be her best friend. I feel like that is just so nasty. wrong. It is nasty. <laughs> and, if, and then to pretend like you didn't know. Because you still seen Lakia tattooed on his chest. Who else you know? And then he gonna sit there like a dummy and be like, oh shoot, I don't know that name tattooed on me. How you have somebody tattooed on your chest that you don't know? That's like me getting polo, like the polo logo tattooed on my chest. And I'll be like, I don't know what polo is, but I got it tattooed on my chest. You know what I'm saying? Like, people be lying about the most stupid stuff, but she never cared to begin with. And the whole pregnancy stuff don't add up. Because if you just start kicking it with this dude, quote unquote, you already pregnant. You get what I'm saying? Like, she tried to make it seem like she just, like, started recently freaking him. And then now she's pregnant. Oh, this is like the rap version of Empire, y'all. <laughs> this shit crazy. Absolutely insane. It's some other secrets going on. I just know it. She might not even be pregnant, though. You get what I'm saying? She might not even be pregnant. That's a possibility. A big possibility. Yeah. I don't know. Y'all just let us know what y'all think in the comments. I just feel like we just keep repeating the same thing. You know what I'm saying? It's just it when they start back into the video, they just recap basically what happened in the last stuff. So now we know what's going on. The dude is bisexual, obviously. He having sex with the best friend and his best friend too. So we just need to know when this started, when they start creeping. 
And I really need to know when her and uh, when him and Risa started creeping. Like, I don't know. Because everybody a, might not have it in the room. I mean, yeah, and that's possible. You got some people that do be HIV positive and the spouse oh don't get God. it. Sometimes that is possible, you know what I'm saying? But who's to say? I feel like everybody need to get tested immediately. Three you get what I'm saying? But it seems like old dude already knew. The best friend? Yeah, the dude who he been sleeping with. It seemed like he already knew. We need to get a timeline on this. Yeah. <laughs> because, I mean, yeah, I'm not saying that he slept with dude before, after this person, or after, or before this person, but timeline would kind of clear up everything. Yeah, because some stuff just don't add up. And then they say this is based off a true story. Not their story, but it's based on a true story that actually happened, which make it even like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to get y'all life together. This true. <laughs> yeah, they say it's true. Like <laughs> you need to get it together but, very quickly. Very, but I'm pretty sure some other people out there they're going through this same crap. I'm pretty sure some folks they relate. <laughs> but we just gonna go ahead and end this video. I mean, y'all just let us know what y'all think in the comments. You feel me? And we'll look back at the comments and we'll respond, you know, back to y'all or whatever, however. But if you're new to the channel, I say channel, channel, <laughs> hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and like we said before, let us know what y'all think in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And we're going to go ahead and end this video, you know what I'm saying? You guys have a blessed night, blessed morning, wherever y'all at. And we're going to go ahead and this morning. <laughs> You know some different places. Yeah. People around the world. Yeah. Y'all gonna start attacking folks in, in comments. <laughs> and I'm Patty LaBelle, so Patty LaBelle. Yeah, y'all gonna see her a lot, so Okay. Lord have mercy. But we out of her. We out of her. We out of her. Be easy. Huh. Love yours. Love yours.